Okay, so here's my GP 1300 hole hum before cleaning. Kind of greasy, kind of nasty. So all I use generally to clean these is uh, Dawn. Put it in a spray bottle, spray it all in the hole, and then I scrub it with a toilet brush. And of course, you tilt it with your drain plugs open to get the water out. Any that you can't get out, you can vacuum out with a little shop vac. But this is before, kind of dirty. Uh, if you got bad hull staining from lake water and sitting in a lake, toilet bowl cleaner works very well on that. You've got to be careful. I think it can strip some of your graphics if you let it stay on there. Um, overall, this one's in good shape. It's just dirty. So I'm going to clean it up and get it ready for that freshly built engine. Of course, if you've got a pressure washer, you'll want to uh, utilize that. I do have one. I, it's just kind of a pain to bother with that. It's early morning and I don't want to wake the neighbors with it, so... Let's get this cleaned up. You can see I've stashed all of my engine mounts, spacers. These were quite handy, so they'll be ready to go back when I'm ready to build this engine or have set the engine in. And hopefully that will be very soon because I've got the parts in, got a couple of snags, had a problem with a piston. But um, you just have to work through problems. This is what happens building these things. You run into all kind of little issues. Let's clean this one. And that's how it's done, shade tree style. Got the whole thing cleaned up. Look how shiny that thing is. Uh, it's a good looking ski. I don't know how much better the inside is, but you know, it's got kind of a yellowish tinge. But it's clean. Tilt it, leave it to drain. I moved all my electrical over out of the way. Try not to spray it directly. I don't want to create more problems. I'll go back, I'll WD-40 all my connectors. That'll get any water I spilled, sprayed in them out. Of course, I'll give them time to dry. Um, you do have... See that thing right there? That's a siphon uh, vent to pull water out of your hull. And here's the hose that operates it. This has got to be up high for that to work. So when I go back in with the engine, I've got to make sure I do that. That's Shade Tree Jet Ski style. Jet Ski Cleaning 101. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Help this channel grow. We'll see you in the next video.